We're learning more tonight about a newly published study regarding football players and the impact the sport could have on their brains. And the study found 99% of deceased NFL players' brains that were donated to scientific research had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke is live in studio with more details on why this disease is tough to diagnose. Abby. Carolina Mike, the new study contains some pretty shocking data, but medical experts warn that there are still many unanswered questions and that CTE and concussions are not the same thing. Former Patriot Junior Seau committed suicide in 2012, leaving behind a family with a lot of questions. His brain later tested positive for CTE, a neurodegenerative disease that can lead to memory loss, impaired judgment, and depression. CTE has been making headlines ever since, but despite the results of a recent study where 110 out of 111 former NFL players were diagnosed with the disease, medical experts say they still can't say repeated head injuries cause CTE. We don't know. The only way to diagnose CTE currently is by brain biopsy, and you can't really biopsy a living brain. Dr. Mark Grieve, an attending physician at Rhode Island Hospital, says while the results of the study contain powerful information, the study itself lacks scientific verification. The study in question um, that was uh, recently published in JAMA uh, was really all patients that were already suspected of having CTE. Grieve says the study lacks a control group and comparison. Still, the study authors say it shows there's a clear problem in football. Grieve doesn't disagree, but says the occurrence of CTE in the general population is not likely to be very high. Very important to realize that this is not concussions. This is a separate entity um, that just because you hit your head, even a couple times, um, you're really at no risk for. Dr. Greaves says concussions still are a major health risk and need to be taken seriously, and parents should consider the risk when signing up their children for sports. However, he added that living a sedentary lifestyle is, quote, going to kill and affect way more people than concussions or CTE ever is. I'm Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.